guys. Um, so, you haven't seen me and Shan train for a little while, on YouTube anyway. Yeah. Yet, we train every day almost, you know. So, uh, today we just decided that we'll bring you one of our sessions, why not, you know. We train pretty much every day during the week. But uh, today we decided to bring you the session because it's been a while. You guys have been saying them on YouTube, where's the videos of Sham? Where's the blogs, etc. We're gonna bring you the blogs. Uh, we haven't traveled for a little while, so it's been like um, a month or two, which I actually am happy about. Well, I mean, we moved LA, we've been settling in, you know, but I miss traveling. <laughs> I miss it. <laughs> no, I, 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 I welcome the break, you know. But yeah, we'll be traveling again soon, so we'll bring you some vlogs. But today is back. I hit hams on Sunday. And I really went for it, and I'm feeling them now. I'm hoping it don't interfere with my deads. Normally, it should play in a good way, you know? That I've worked them and then, you know, my strength's up, but we'll see. But I can really feel them, man. These like, I just don't get on with them. You know them ones where you kind of, like, grasp it and it just clips on like this? I struggle with these so bad. <laughs> hey, looking for clips. They actually have a whole rack of just clips, so neatly laid out. Perfect. Until I get to maybe four plates, I still feel like, I still don't feel, yeah, like I'm warm and ready. I think with deadlifts, it's one of the exercises that I really have to warm up with. If I try and go straight in heavy, it's just a mess. <laughs> I have to work up to it. Here's a little setting for some of you that you might not know. With Olympic weights, they are color coordinated and that's regardless of where you go. So normally if you see blue, blue is 20. If you see a red, red is 25. If you see a yellow, that's 15. A green is normally 10. And I think a white might be five, but I'm not sure about the, the, the five. And this is all kgs, always in kgs. Little tip for you. By the way, I shouldn't really be wearing this footwear to deadlift, but like I was trying on kicks this morning and I just thought I'll go with these, man, because they look good, man. But um, yeah, it might not be the best deadlift shoes with the air bubble, so we'll see. If I have to, I'll take my kicks off as I usually do. Buckets of chalk, which I flipping love. Go to the gym, and it says no chalk. It's like, why? Why on earth would you stop people using chalk? Something that facilitates weightlifting. You know, I've never understood that. I mean, I can understand it can cause a mess, etc. But that goes hand in hand with a gym chalk. You know, people that are serious lifters, uh, when they don't want to use wraps, they'll use chalk for their grip. So to ban chalk just for me doesn't make any sense. Actually, I'm gonna take it all off. How weird does this look? Each one of these is 20 kg. Two of these are the same size as the bumper plates, yeah, double the weight. So yeah, each one of these is 20 kg. Uh, something I haven't said is that um, 
Wednesday, right? Every Wednesday, and then I uh, strained my adductor longus. And how long was I not squatting for? Two, three months. Like two, three months, guys. And that affected my deadlift so much. Like it's surprising how much it affected. I just weren't as strong. My back weren't as strong at all. So I would deadlift on a Tuesday, squat on a Wednesday, and missing that Wednesday session with squats, boy. So it's like, so I'm back again, as frustrating as it is, but you just want to keep going, build yourself back up, build your strength back up, and every week, I'm getting stronger. But I started squatting again last week. Last week I started squatting, yes, and how happy was I? I was like, I managed to squat and I weren't in pain, yeah. So um, just don't get frustrated, just keep going. All right, jacket off. I don't use chalk, I use gloves. <laughs> Protect these bad boys. She don't need hands like these. I've got a little one. I've got a little one. What's on my mind? Not just a stuff. <laughs> chalk up until at least five and a half so I'm gonna do this one without chalk and then yeah after five and a half I start to chalk up and probably throw my belt on as well I can also manage to do a double overhand up until five plates after five plates I start I, ch I, I change my grip but I can still do a over double overhand for five plates Yeah, yeah, that's it. After five, so I've got to ah. put five and a half is when I'm going to change my grip. Okay. But for that, I can still do it on that. It's harder though. Yeah. Like, when yeah. I'm doing it like that, I can feel it slipping. As soon as I can feel it's heavy, yeah. I change my grip from this to this. As you noticed, um, I was going up one plate, two plate, three plate, four plate, five. When I get to five, that's when I start to slow it down. So now we're gonna go halfway, so I've only added a 10 kg. Um, gonna do that for another maybe one to two reps, and then I'm gonna go up to six, and then see what happens from there.
more reps, like, like some people would say to do one at that weight and then try to up the weight. I'm still gonna up the weight. But what it was for me, yeah, but that's the thing. From what it was for me is if I upped the weight and I didn't get it, I would have been pissed off that I didn't try to rep out the six. Because six is normally, six is a benchmark I set myself. Every deadlift session, I need to hit six. I want to hit six, you know? So, so for me, like, as I did the first rep, I thought, do you know what? Go for a few so that even if you don't make it, like get the reps above it, you did this today. You achieved these many reps on this weight, you know, so that's 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 how I, I judge it. I'm still gonna go up and see what happens, and it might even help that I did those reps, just you know, getting me ready for the heavier weight. We'll see. It's pressure. <laughs> Sometimes it's mine, but <laughs> like I failed already in my head on that second rep. <laughs> next one, next one, next one. Should we just, just go for it? Throw on a 10? Throw on a 10. <laughs> you got this. That last set was strong. Like, you got this. Remember everything, everything intact, feet shown off the park. Head up, shoulders back. Drive, everything. Everything, everything, let's go. Everything, everything. Up, up. Come on, Chad, don't do that. Don't. Remember, don't, don't let it go. Just keep driving, move away. Yeah? Lock everything in. Head up. Yep. Yeah. Drive. Yeah. 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 That was yours! <laughs> that was yours! It was moving! It's been long I haven't done this way. Take a second. <laughs> that was yours. What, what made you stop? It was heavy. <laughs> That's the thing that made you stop. It wasn't that you didn't have it. It was that it was heavy and you thought, now I'll put it back down. That's the part you got to just drive through. Like, so when, when that kicks in, just think, now nah, I'm having it. It's mine. It's mine. Keep going. Because it's the same on my way. As soon as I'm coming up, it, you get to that part where it locks and you're like, Ah, oh, this is heavy, but you have to just drive through it. Your back's strong enough. It's clearly strong enough to take it. So mentally, just lock in and, and go for it. This is yours. I have to see you. Remember, you're not giving up on this rep. Don't put that shit down. Drive right through. Same form, head up. You got this. You got this. Don't worry about this one. You got this. Okay. Drive, you're gonna drive all the way, all the way, head up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, bah, 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 bah. There we go, see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? It's there, it's there, man. All right, it's yeah. there. My, my back's tired. <laughs> That's the deadlift's done, man. Yeah, done. Finito. I always go underhand grip. It's just something I've always done. I'm never changing it because I feel more comfortable doing it that way. However, for your set, you can try both. I mean, uh, I already have. Sometimes I do over, sometimes under. Oh, yeah, but I feel better with under. I don't know, same, I feel like it, it locks in. Same. Go ahead then. But I, I can go over as well. Like. 
saying that I normally book Valentine's restaurants quite late all the time and um, you know what it's like fully booked all the time but um, yeah I, this time around I tried to do it early so I did it like three weeks early still booked up so our dinner's quite early 6 45 I'm not showing up at 6 45 I'm gonna show up at least 7 7 15 guys he booked us lunch basically <laughs> We're going for lunch. <laughs> like, I literally, I said to this guy, like, so Valentine's Day is soon, you know, hint, hint, book. <laughs> no, I booked early. Three weeks for me is early. Next time, I'll do it two months early, you know? You can teach him. How do you know we're going to be in the country? For the last three Valentines or two Valentines, we haven't been in the country. Where have you been for the last Valentine? Uh, there was one we were in uh, San, San Antonio. Antonio. There was another one we were somewhere else. Like, so we can't guarantee that we're going to be in the country. So. Ooh, I've got to say, back day is my favourite day of training by far. It feels so good, right? I know, I know, it's not necessarily your worst, but I know which one you don't like doing. It's my worst. My worst. Chest. I, chest. I, if I could just skip chest day every week, I would. <laughs> Tell them why. Tell them why you hate it. And it's not because she just hates training chest. It's my fault. Tell her why. Okay, I hate chest day because it's not what you think. Let's go there, let's, let's bench press for six sets. No, Sim will make me do maybe 12 sets. Yeah, so that's bench press. And then we'll go to incline and do another eight sets. Like, by the end of it, this whole area is just aching. <laughs> How many of you guys follow Will Smith on Instagram? Like, normally, like, when you follow, like, choosing to follow people, I don't know how you guys choose, but it's got to be something for me that I get from it, you know? And I saw a few posts by Will Smith, and I decided to follow him. Best decision. The guy, like... He's where, hilarious. He's hilarious. Whether it's comedy or whether it's just inspiration, he's a great person to follow, man. It's just a all-round cool guy, man. As you guys know, me and Sim train together most days of the week. And you've seen how many plates he has, right? For chest, back, squats. I used to have to be there and take each plate off of one side and put it back on. Every day, every set. <laughs> so that's Sam's cardio. Because we used to share it. So if he'll do this, we'll take the plates off. I'll put mine on. Well, basically, what she's saying is that, that these gyms in the US are bigger, right? So that there's, like, like you saw when we did our deadlifts, there was two platforms for us to use. Um, we're only sharing this today because just because it's not a big deal changing it with this kind of weight but when we were doing squats and stuff we had one in London that had like two squat racks and the other one would be used so we'd have to share so we're not hogging it like. which means if I go up to five plates she's got to strip it back down to do her set which was a chore and, and then put it back, and then put on, it back on again but we did it though we did it we did it every time yeah, for, years. for years and that's probably why these bad boys <laughs> 